Okay, a quick lesson about drawing a, um, a cast shadow for a standing cylinder. Okay, so with a standing cylinder, basically you've got your uh, rotational axis, um, and we can use that to draw the cast shadow. So I'm going to use the rotational axis as if it's that the stick in the ground. I'm going to choose a three-quarter angle. I'm going to draw a line from the ground surface, from the rotational axis, in the light direction. Then I'm going to draw a line through my the top point, and I'm going to draw another line where those two cross. Now, the most important thing here is that you draw your um, ellipse with the self with the same roundness as the ground plane because remember this is a circle and you draw it around that line the other important thing is that you think about okay where does the the um where it joins so you we could divide that in this direction and you just want to join it actually with the um tangent line here so um, this ellipse should be have a horizontal major axis. Once you've got that, basically you can just draw your vertical line, connect it up here, and then um, in this sort of movement, I think works quite well. Just sort of some of these shapes, sort of U shapes. And then connect it up. Remember, more light will get into your shade shadow the further away it is from your um, from the object. So you know you might want to keep a little bit more darker here and here. It can be a bit lighter at the back. Um, again, always darken that edge because there's a sort of a small radius at the front. Um, and there you have it. Um, pretty simple, really. The next, just you know, to practice, how would you do it in this? You need to see this as just a series of ellipses floating um, in space. Um, and the first thing, of course, again, is your light direction. You draw a line from the on the ground plane in your light direction, and then you draw your light angle lines from each. defining ellipse in your vertical plane. Then you draw horizontal lines here. So these are going to be the major axis of your ellipses. And these are going to correspond to each ellipse. So this needs to be quite a big one here. And I've got this one, which is small. And I've got this one, which is a little bit bigger. Um, and then I'm just going to join them up um, consider you know your division here the light which side is in the light where it will join we'll join about there um, and then again same idea um, this is quite a long shadow, so I'm going to try and keep it a little bit more open at the back. Yeah. And um, this can be darker as it gets closer. Okay, so that's basically it. Uh, shading on a standing vertical cylinder, drop shadows for a vertical cylinder.